Okay, in today's lecture, we will discuss about zero coupon bonds. As in the few past lectures, we have already discussed how to calculate the cost of debts. And in the cost of debts, we have discussed about the redeemable and irredeemable. And whatever the types of debts means the bonds or debentures that we have discussed, the basic attribute in that was that all the debentures or bonds or debts they used to carry interest rate. That means company make the issue of the bond or debenture or any type of debts and again that bond or debenture or debts company make the payment of interest on the yearly basis and at the maturity year the company make the payment of the interest along with the principal amount. This was the concept we have taken and in that respect we have also calculated that how to calculate the cost of debts. In today's lecture we are trying to take up zero coupon bond. Coupon here means the interest rate and zero means we are talking about those bonds, those debts, those debentures which do not carry any amount of interest. Interest percentage is zero. Now the question arises that why the investor is going to invest in such bonds, in such debts which do not carry interest. The reason being these bonds or these debts they are always issued at discount. They are never issued at premium. They are discount bond. That means if the bond is having a face value of rupees 100, they may be issued at 80, 70 or 40. And maturity will be at the face value. That means discount is the issue, maturity is the face value and difference will be the gain for the investor. These bonds are also called as deep discount bond. Sometimes in some books also, in some companies, they make use of zero coupon bond as deep discount bond. Simply it means no interest rate. Okay, now the question arises that why the company made the issue of zero coupon bond? First of all, the best advantage the company gets that the company is free from maintaining the cash outflow and account sheet on yearly basis. मतलब कि जब हर साल कंपनी को इंटरेस्ट नहीं देना है, तो कंपनी के पास जितना भी पैसा जीरो ईयर में आएगा, वो पूरा का पूरा पैसा कंपनी उसको इस्तेमाल कर सकती है टेल द मैच्योरिटी। That means every year cash outflow will not be there. Whatever the amount has been received will remain the company for a specific duration for which the bond has been issued and on maturity the payment will be done. That means here the outflow in the intermediate year is less or no. So account statement maintenance is also zero in between the issue and maturity. Investors, why the investors prefer? Investor prefer the reason being that they are free from making a reinvestment in between the years because every year when they get back their interest amount either they have to consume, they have to spend or do, they have to make the investment of that. So they are also free that whatever the amount they have invested for a specific duration the lump sum amount has been invested and the return they will get after the maturity. Right? So in this way the investor and the company both are having some benefit but the company can also get the disadvantage. Disadvantage of what? As the interest is not paid, as the interest is not paid on yearly basis that means the interest will not be considered in saving the tax liability for the company. So that can be a drawback for the company. But the company has, is having such a project where inflows can, or outflows cannot be allowed in the middle of the project. So company want to remain intact with all the money the company has covered. Suppose for example, a company make a issue of a zero coupon bond. A a means rupees 1000. 
zero open bond is issued by the company and the issue price issue price is rupees 540 issue price is rupees 540 and suppose the life the duration and the period for the issue is 5 years and we are supposed to calculate that what is the cost of the bond that what is the cost of the bond you can see that the fair value is 1000 it has been issued at discount a deep discount bond that means the very good amount of discount has been given 540 and the duration is 5 years in simple way as we used to make the application of trial and error method same method will be applied here so here we are saying that the company made the issue of a bond of zero coupon 1000 issue price 1 540 period 5 years now trial and error method will be applied as you know in trial and error method we are supposed to hit some percentage like suppose we take as years we take as years here we have 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 right now in the zero year we make the investment of rupees 540 cash flow you can say as the cash flow no interest no interest no interest and no interest but at maturity you have to make the payment of rupees 1000 this will be your 1000 now what we can say suppose we take the value of kd the value of zero coupon bond as 12% so as you are aware the present value of rupee always remain as 1 in the zero year matlab aaj ki tarikh mein आज की तारीख में पैसे की वैल्यू सेम है सौ रुपए की वैल्यू सौ रुपए है एक रुपए की वैल्यू एक रुपए है अगले जब आगे बढ़ेगी तो वो घटेगी बढ़ेगी कैन से वन वन ट्रिपल जीरो हेयर वी हैव नथिंग द रीजन बिंग जीरो 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 यू विल गेट नथिंग एंड हेयर वी कैन से इट इज पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स सेवन दिस इज द रूपी वैल्यू एट ट्वेल्व परसेंट फॉर फिफ्थ ईयर Present value table, you are aware. From present value table of rupee one, at the fifth year you will find, at the fifth year you will find rupee point five six seven as the rupee value. What we can do? We calculate the present value. It will be minus five forty here itself. Zero 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 zero, and this will be five sixty seven. Right? Desired was, desired was 540. Issue price, issue price was 540. So what we can do? Now we have to decrease this thing. For decreasing this thing, we can increase the value of KB. So suppose I take as KB as 14 percent. See, although I am aware that these values are same because I have seen the table, but you have to refer the book itself. टेबल इट सेल हमको याद हो गई है लेकिन आप उनको भी प्रेफर करनी पड़ेगी एंड हेयर आल्सो यू कैन से द वैल्यू इज 1 इन द जीरो ईयर देन हेयर नथिंग 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 एंड हेयर वी कैन से 0.519 एट 14% टू कैलकुलेट द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू इट विल बी माइनस 540 जीरो 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 फोर जीरो देन इट विल बी 590 लेस देन 540 that means we are sure that the value of the bond is between 12 to 14 percent 12 point something by making use of interpolation by making use of interpolation because we are using trial and error method i told you earlier we are using trial and error method interpolation the value of k bond it will be 
plus something plus something what higher value higher value is 567 minus lower value no desired value and desired value is 540 and here we can say higher value 567 minus lower value 519 and multiplied by 2 2 is the difference of the cost 12 and 14 2 you calculate this it is 12% plus we can say as 27 upon 48 multiplied by 2 it will come to as 12 plus 1.125 something that means we can say 13.125% is the exact value of this coupon bond that means the investors the investors are getting a return of 13.125% from the investor point of view and from the company point of view the company is having a cost of 13.125 on this bond so here cost of debts is acting from the company point of view as cost of debts and from the investor point of view you can say it is IRR internal rate of return or you can say it is a rate of return itself or return itself the gain the investor is going to have so in this way you are able to calculate one more thing this can be calculated with one more aspect of table uh, ok what we can do that we can delete this thing if you remember the concept of future value and present value in that we used to see uh, what future value is equal to present value 1 plus r power n this was the equation future value is equal to present value 1 plus r what is 1 plus r? 1 plus r is the future value why? because if it is present value then we would have written like this 1 plus r but it is multiplication so it is the compounded value it is the future value itself so future value is given as 1000 and this is given as 540 1 plus r n is given as 5 then we can say 1000 upon 540 is equal to 1 plus r power 5 what do you have to do now future value table you have to see not anything future value means compounded value table future value table at the fifth year because it is fifth year at fifth year where if you divide this thing it will be 1.851 something is equal to 1 plus r power 5 now in the fifth year of future value table that means you have to refer future value interest factor table in this table you have to find at fifth year you have to locate this value nearby at what percentage you are having 1.851 and if you look at the table anybody can have the table look at itself you will find it is something near 13% at 13% you are having the value in the table as 1.842 you are having the value as and you can see it is 13.125 so initial percentage has been hit that means it is 13 plus something because it is 42 and it is 51 that means we have to increase that means what we can do again interpolation can be applied you can take the value of 13 and you can take the value of 14 apply interpolation and you will get the same result or nearby I am not saying the result may be same it may be same I am not saying it will be same it will may be same because this is the table values from the future itself and this is the calculation by the help of trial and error so trial and error method is always but 
13 is there and you can easily imagine 4, 2 and 5, 1 a difference of 0 0.09 or 0 0.010 that you can say that means approximately this one only 13 plus something so in either you can make use of future value table or simply the method as you are aware that is plan error method you can use the present value table and you can calculate as we have done right so in this way we calculate that how, that what will be the cost of debts of zero coupon bond from company point of view or from the investor point of view this will be the return percentage for the investor who is going to make the investment in cost in the zero coupon bond which is also called as deep discount bond. Right? Thank you.